Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for being here, or shall I say, still being here. I'm sure the rumour mill is turning and wild, wild stories will soon start making the rounds. I just have not heard them yet, <laughs> or the few I heard could not be verified in any way. One such story is that Megan had actually been in Jamaica for nearly a week prior to the premiere and that she had been seen out and about with a man in his late 40s, early 50s. So yes, bring me a photo, even a blurred one, and we'll look into it. But at this point, I think we have far more serious issues to concern ourselves with. If Megan is having an affair or Harry is having an affair, then I'm afraid my bucket of sympathy is totally empty. I actually feel they both deserve what they get. My one and only concern regarding their relationship is indeed the children. Where are the children in all of this? If mommy and daddy are hanging around the Beverly Hills and Jamaica, St. Vincent's, Portugal, forever role-playing the happy honeymoon couple, then who is giving those children the love, the cuddles that they really need? Look, I'm sure they are getting the care they need because that is being paid for. But what about the rest? Don't even try to tell me Doria provides all of that because you don't need to be a rocket scientist to see that Doria does not have a maternal bone in her body. Anyway, I'm not here today to talk about the children either because that will become a much longer video and I want to keep today's video relatively short. I see on Instagram and X that people are still talking about the premiere of Bob Marley, One Love, particularly about the piece of footage where it appears Megan has something to say to Harry and then he jumps up and rushes off. Yes, of course, it is more interesting to say they had a fight or that he lost his temper. And certainly in one still photograph, he does not look too pleased. But, you know, we are looking at mere seconds out of a much longer period of time. And we've also seen that he did take his place again and they looked fine. <laughs> So, thus, I am not going to join the fray and concoct a story around a couple of seconds which happened to be photographed. Yes, they were not treated like royalty and placed in the fifth or the sixth or the seventh row. And good, 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 because they are no longer royalty. Omid Scobie was very quick to gloat on X after the photograph of Meghan shaking hands with the Prime Minister surfaced. I wonder how he feels now seeing them placed in the whatever row. <laughs> I have said this many, many, many times. Putting a smile on for a photograph, shaking hands for a photograph does not mean people like you. I am South African. I have been called a Hans Kaki numerous times. Now, Hans Kaki means something like a traitor in favor of the British. Just because of my interest in the British royal family and because as a child, I spoke Afrikaans and English with equal ease. Yet, I can 100% guarantee you that those very same people who called me a Hans Kaki would smile broadly and shake hands with any royal should they ever get the chance. Jamaicans 
particularly the black Jamaicans, are in general a little bitter towards the English, and words like colonization and slavery have indeed become buzzwords and swear words simultaneously. Yet, when a royal visits, he will get the motorcade, the formal greeting, and a state dinner. Now I'm asking you, what on earth did Harry and Meghan, the not royal royals, <laughs> living in America with British titles, think they were going to get? Did they really think? they were going to be treated like VIP royals. Really think they would be seated in front of the Marley family. <laughs> I mean, no way, Jose. The real royals get the front seat, not because they are necessarily liked, but because it is protocol and Jamaica, South Africa, Barbados, etc., etc., do not want to look like or come across as common or ignorant, so they stick to protocol. But when it comes to pseudo, not royal royals, there is no need for protocol, and so they stuck them where they wanted them out of the way, out of sight, in the seventh or whatever row. After all, Bob Marley had something like 11 or 12 children and now has about 20 grandchildren. Man, oh man, they are so lucky. They were not stuck in the back row. <laughs> anyway, folks, the embarrassment is real. Not just because of the seating arrangements, not just because Harry looked scruffy and oily and unwashed in the photographs which were not posed and touched up, not just because Megan was majorly overdressed, no, all of it and none of it. The true embarrassment is that this is being tolerated by the British monarchy. The fact remains that as long as Harry is in the line of succession, as long as he is a prince, the Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumbarton and Baron Kilkeel, everything he does is and will be associated with the royal family. The fact that he is still displayed as a working member of the royal family on the family website also legally and otherwise make every visit they make whether to the premiere of the Bob Marley movie or to the Beyonce concert a public engagement like when William and Catherine went to the opening of the latest Tom Cruise movie, for instance. <laughs> and while we're on that subject, let's rather not compare, shall we? <laughs> let's just say William and Catherine always look sanitary and clean, and the other two, not so much. But guys, I am so tired of all these so-called mind-reading royal reporters who are gaslighting you all day after day after day. No, 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 no. Go to any law of employment. Go to the laws of your own country, no matter where you live, and consult your own labor laws. If you still carry the title you carried during your last job, whether you were the CEO of Fort Mart or the private secretary to Mr. Joe Soap, if you're still called the CEO of Fort Mart or the private secretary of Mr. Joe Soap in every publication for a period of four years and thereafter, 
then you are likely still the CEO of Fort Mart or still Mr. Jones' private secretary. And then, my dear, you are entitled to a salary and paid leave. And then each and every function or event you attend and where you are introduced as Jack or Joe, the CEO of Fort Mart, you will be seen and recognized as representing Fort Mart or as a representative of Fort Mart. So every function Harry and Meghan attend and where they are introduced as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they are in reality, in legal terms, attending as representatives of the royal family. End of story, no argument, just plain, unadulterated fact. And it will remain a fact for as long as Harry is in the line of succession and they are both displayed on that darn website. So if Parliament and the Privy Council do not like a scruffy, dirty, high or drunk, mentally challenged person to represent Britain and the monarchy, then they better start standing together to overrule the king and strip Harry of his title and remove him from the line of succession and the royal website. I am again going to quote one of you, one of my subscribers, and she said, In life, all evil starts at the top. So the top better do something if they want to prove me and her wrong. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon. I'm flipping a coin as to whether I should turn some information and certain discussions into content. But regardless of whether I decide to or not, I will see you soon and then we can talk some more. <laughs> Take care. I love and appreciate you all. Bye.